Bill Norton began his career at Brother Rice in the mid-60s as was one of the very first lay teachers that was hired at Brother Rice. He was uh, a basketball coach. What many people don't know is he actually coached football for a year. He was the head varsity football coach in 1968. Obviously, Bill's claim to fame was not in football because he only did that for a couple years in his early 20s. Uh, it was in basketball. And uh, in terms of Brother Rice's history, Brother Rice basketball was one of the very first sports to have early success. The 1969 team was a very, very good team, a forerunner of the teams that would begin in the mid-70s to be regular Catholic League champs, as well as state champs in 1974, and then state runners-up in 1977. But I'm sure that Bill would say that he had a number of great athletes from the late 60s all the way through 1981. Uh, then Bill left for a time and went up to Michigan State, worked there for a while, came back to Brother Rice and worked uh, in the uh, development office for a number of years, was not in coaching, uh, taught, worked in the dean's office, various other things and then returned to coaching for a couple of years in the mid-90s. But Bill's uh, primary years here of great act athletic success were very definitely in the 1970s. And I think for anybody who was here in the 1970s, two of the most memorable games that Brother Rice ever competed in were the 1974 state championship game in which we beat Cass Tech after being down by 12 points. A game that is most famous for those of us who were there by the bank shot by Jimmy McGoodwin to tie the game and to send it into overtime. A shot that all of us remember up at Jenison Fieldhouse. And then we went on to win in overtime. Just a great, great year. Some people might even remember more so that year, the Pontiac Central game in the regional where Will Franklin hit two shots or two free throws with no time remaining. Very, very exciting. Uh, a lot of great stories about Rice discipline in the basketball team, stalling the ball at the end, people dying of heart attacks, worried about what was going to happen refusing to shoot, holding onto the ball back before there was a shot clock in basketball. Perhaps the most famous moment in Bill's career, though, was the 1977 game in which Brother Rice took on Lansing Everett, uh, which had Urban Magic Johnson, the number one player in the country. A game that will live in infamy for all of us uh, because had it been under modern rules, Brother Rice would have won that game. The shot heard around the world, the Kevin Smith half-court shot we were down two with three seconds left. We inbound the ball, half court. Kevin Smith sinks a half court shot to send the game into overtime. Uh, Urban uh, put it away in overtime. We didn't do very well there. But what an amazing moment at Chrysler and uh, at the University of Michigan to watch Urban Magic Johnson and his career, but how valiantly our guys fought and played hard. Two great moments in Brother Rice history that Bill was absolutely a part right in the middle of coaching the guys. And I know those players on those teams have very strong feelings for Bill and for all the wonderful things he did for them.